remove the winglets from the quill tidy top of the drumstick just for presentation make an incision down the whole back of the quail lift the skin as high as you can and then cut the meat off the quail so you're not skinning the quail you're cutting the meat away to expose top of the thigh and make sure that you've gone over top of the shoulder blade turn the quail over do exactly the same on the opposite side over top of the shoulder blade to release that pull the, pull the skin as you cut so you can see exactly what you're doing so that you release top of the thigh bone there then push the thigh out of the joint on both sides that's both thighs released and then cut away any tendons that are holding the thighs in place so that both legs are completely free so there you are you can see no it's not there's a little piece of meat still holding that thigh in place there both legs are completely free now I want to put my fingers underneath the skin just over the tip of the breastbone here so that I can then separate the skin there you go the two fingers are meeting inside I can get my fingers through and I can physically tear there the skin and pull it over the breast to expose the breast bone cut with a knife against the bone and then cut the meat from off top of the rib cage turn the quail around and using the center of the knife scrape down the wishbone scrape the meat off the side of the quail and then rotate the quail around turning so you can got the two joints then the winglet separate through the wing joint and do exactly the same on the opposite side separate through the wing joint so that I can pull the carcass from the meat there's a little crop there pull that out don't want to give that to the guest that little bit of sack and then turn turn the quill the right way around all that's left to do now is to push the meat off the thigh bone and then pull the bone from the carcass And that's it finished so you've got two winglets two drumsticks and a perfectly boned quail